so the president's uh, marks are inching up just a little bit here. We have the economy again, the wind at his back here, the markets today, notwithstanding, uh, is still helping him. Uh, but will it be enough to tip everything in his favor for the election uh, in 2020? Let's ask Melissa Arma with uh, the stock swoosh. We have Democratic strategist Mark Burns and last but not least, Republican strategist Noel Nickpour. That's the hope, right, Noel, that this is the momentum that closes the deal for him for another four years at the White House. It should be. And the reason it should be is because the, you know, not only is there momentum on his side, but this is also going to do another thing. And I look always at the money angle on this. This is going to allow President Trump super PAC and President Trump, for those who haven't maxed out or to, you know, to feel free to give more donations to really amp it up. Because when you're on top, uh, you know, when you've got the momentum in your back and you've got the economy and job, you know, uh, uh, unemployment, you've got all these factors into play, this will translate into people, you know, giving donations to this. And this is really going to make his stockpile big, whereas the Democrats are having to divide that, you know, amongst like 20 candidates. So it's going to also help in two ways with the reelection. Um, you know, one of the things I see, Max, is as the White House is having this jobs event to focus on that, focus on all that, and, and pay little attention 24 hours later to whatever happened at the hearings uh, yesterday. Um, and maybe it's registering because I haven't seen a lot more Democrats come out and push impeachment today. Are they just dismissing it or what? Uh, I think it definitely wasn't the knockout that Democrats hoped. And this message on the economy is... It's good news whenever, for the president, whenever his poll numbers go up, you'd expect him to be significantly higher. But as the Fox News poll shows, the president gets in his way on immigration, on attacking Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. That poll also showed 63 percent of voters think he went too far in attacking them. So these are really things that are holding him down when... So he, he'd be doing, and you've kind of argued that, but he'd be doing much better maybe without some of this noise. But Melissa, one of the things I am startled by here is that uh, the across-the-board nature of these economic gains, now they don't necessarily have to hold, but why isn't he doing better given all of that? Because, you know, this is, you know, a, a pretty strong economy, pretty strong markets. This jobs thing today is a reminder that there are positions that are going begging to be filled. Listen, people aren't always going to say the truth sometimes in these polls. That's number one. I mean, people were shocked when Trump won. They thought they were going to vote for Hillary. People lied and said different things in the polls. The polls showed that she was going to win. But also, I think that people don't like some personality aspects of President Trump. He's kind of, this is who he is, and you either love it or you don't love it. And that's the kind of thing. But I think at the end of the day, I do think Trump's going to win re-election, but it's never over to the fat lady sings. And Hillary thought she was going to win, so Trump's still going to have to fight forward, even though there's all these candidates. He's still going to have to go gangbusters to get back into the White House Plus and win another four years. Plus, we're talking about this today. So these are the issues at hand today, and everything is fat and happy today. When we go right on up to election, that could be a different story. <clears throat> that you know, who By knows? By the way, the politically <laughs> correct term is calorically challenged. Um, <laughs> but let me ask you, Max, Thanks. on that. Uh, one of the things that just makes me wonder: you don't know until you have a nominee, and you can build yeah. a campaign around how that's going to go. But Joe Biden was, said something interesting. He wants to uh, address the president's tax cuts raised the corporate rate that was slashed to 21 to at least up to 28 percent. The president's been of the view that any one of these Democrats who espousing getting rid of the tax cuts, hiking them, whatever, um, it's going to be damaging. And, and that's how it's going to be pounded. Obviously, if you want to address this, you're going to reverse what the president's doing and, and, and it's going to be played in ads as here come the tax hiking Democrats. What do you do? Well, I think we've had one of the longest economic expansions in history. I think under Trump now, largely because Republicans have gotten rid of this whole fiscal conservatism thing and they're spending like Democrats. So it's no surprise the economy is doing better. It is odd that the president's finding the challenge he is among fellow Republicans. I've talked to a number of Freedom Caucus members on Fox Business, which, Melissa, yeah. if you don't get, you should demand. And, no, and, I saw it. I watched you. Oh, just right. oh terrific. Hours. Love yeah. you. Coming yeah, back. I'll have you when I but anyway, what, to, to a man or woman, they all say the same thing. Enough already. You're killing us with this. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, 
I qualify myself as a conservative, but, you know, when you got to spend, you got to spend. So, I mean, it's a, it's a catchphrase. I mean, to say that we would not have the tax cuts and get out of debt, I mean, we, the government is so, so much in debt, I really don't know what the answer is to that. That's like you go to the big, big experts that look at the economy and say, how are we going to get out from under but this? I don't but, mind saddling Maxwell. I mean, well, you were talking yeah. about the Social Security earlier today. Yeah. That I mean, you were talking about yourself. What about me? You know, what about him? I'm okay, I mean, like, Max. You know, I mean, so that's yeah. the thing. Well, I mean, there might not be any money left for us. One of the things that I would like to look at are groups like the Club for Growth, which, you know, kind of made their, their name on uh, reducing, you know, the national debt and no pork and these bills and frivolous spending. So it's going to be interesting. And they hold their candidates that they support in primaries. Sometimes they, that's why we have Ted Cruz. He was sent to, to challenge somebody in a Republican primary. So one of the key things they do is they will fund people. Uh, they want them to be economically con conservative. And this is not you, part of that. Are you surprised by all of that? With everything going on, that no one seems to care in the Republican Party about this issue? I'm, I'm very surprised because this it's, It doesn't kind of show our... up anywhere in the top 10 issues for voters either, so it, I, I want to posit yeah, that. But, it's, so it's, maybe they figure there's no, it's no, no harm, no foul. It's nowhere really on the list. It's like the, the national debt is over here. And then here are the issues at hand. It's like it just doesn't exist. And it do, it will. It's going to come back full circle and it will exist. But right now, no one's mentioning it. No one's campaigning on it. But I want to, I'm interested in what these groups are doing, like the Club for Growth, uh, funding these candidates that are just, you know, going to be voting with it and let's go. Let's I think see people are worried about right now. And yeah. right now things are going good. The market has rallied over 40 percent since the day after Trump was elected. The economy is doing well. People are back to work. So so I think people, can, like regular people, Maybe like they, right now, what do I have to worry about now, right that, now that, today? Not you know? to worry this other stuff. Guys, I want to thank you all very much. Sorry about the Social Security thing. <laughs> but uh, you seem very talented. A lot of other <laughs> venues you can pursue. Uh, in the meantime, 